that blows right. us away right. to a duo huh. that that's uh, they're that's okay. So <laughs> they're they're all right. Oh, as impressive. They're okay. Okay. Yeah. Matt and I were thinking about going out on tour as a later in life boy band. Are you going to harm us? Yeah. So um, yeah. I think a good weather word would be harmony. Okay. Because I just love how they harmonize oh, so and good. they just really come together mm -hmm. beautifully. Yeah. You heard Chance say it earlier. Just the way they sing each part, that's hard to do. If and they make it easy. If it was a duet, that'd be one thing, you yeah. know. But to have three elements in it, yeah, yeah incredible. So what a skill. Good luck to them tonight. We'll get harmony in the forecast. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Jay. Thank you. Uh, live look right now, CSU Cam. This is what we're going to spend our discussion on, at least initially. The sky is white, right? It's not got that, it doesn't have that deep blue that we look for this time of year that brings on that bright sunshine. It's got that haze to it once again, and this continues to be off the same fires burning way out in Western Canada. Everything is connected. I was gonna use the weather word there, but we won't. 69 degrees right now, 69 degrees is what it feels like. I just got new contacts too. 44 degrees is our dew point right now, which indicates we still have dry air. Humidity not with us. We've got a little bit of a lake breeze as well. 60 degrees downtown. We've got a 70 in Ashtabula. You get inland though, we're approaching 80 near Akron, a mild day all the way down towards areas of Dover, New Philly. We've got a wind that's out of the east for most of us coming off the lake, obviously where that lake breeze is. But overall temperatures, comfortable and right near average today and we're going to fall back to near average tonight. We'll be in the 50s. Notice the clear skies. The thing missing from these is that haze that we have in the atmosphere. So to see it, it's really tough to see on satellite. I got to put the black background on there. You, you've got the clouds around, right? But notice how it just got kind of that milky white look to it right over Lake Erie and up into southern Canada and over northeast Ohio. That is the atmospheric smoke. Again, it's lofted in the atmosphere, so nothing we need to worry about. But it's widespread. We're not alone. It is all over the upper Midwest and the central Plain states. And this all originates from fires that continue to burn in western Canada. There are 99 fires right now with over 100 acres burning. That is over 4 million acres that are being burned right now. That is a lot of smoke going up in the atmosphere. They not only had a heat wave, but they have dry conditions throughout the early spring. So the jet stream taking all this smoke and just placing it in the U.S. because there's really not a driver of weather systems to move this out. So here's your forecast. Here's where it originates. Obviously thickest there. But as we look into northeast Ohio, we're still going to have that uh, interesting sunset tonight where you can actually see the sun and it's red and it's kind of that interesting look. It produces some pretty vibrant colors. So we'll have one of those tonight. Tomorrow the smoke's still sticking around. But look at this. We've got a strong Canadian high pressure and a cold front that'll be moving through here on Wednesday early in the day. So once that moves through, we're going to clear out our atmosphere. So late in the day, Wednesday, and then especially Thursday, you're going to notice that sky is going to go from white back to blue again after days of not having it, right? Your forecast highs with that cold front will come down as well. We've got a warm day tomorrow for everybody. Wednesday, not too bad either. Temperatures will be coming down, though, and then look at Thursday and Friday. We're back into the 60s for highs. In the near term, pretty quiet weather. National Design Board Hour by our forecast. Everything in harmony tonight. We've got low 50s expected near the lakeshore. I could have worked that in better. Notice tomorrow we've got a couple clouds around. We'll still have that haze. We're well into the 70s tomorrow. And in terms of chance of rain, that's the other stories. We have gone dry once again. We're expecting dry weather this week. Maybe a pop Wednesday as that front passes down to the south. But we go dry through Saturday. Saturday, this is your Memorial Day weekend. Barely a chance of rain as there's no real main weather system that comes in here. Everything kind of floating around right now. And as a result, we get the cool down Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast on Thursday. And then we're right back up into the 70s. A very comfortable weekend. Lacking from this forecast is any sign of humidity. So again, these are the days that we wish for. I think uh, 360 days out of the year, these are the five or six that we are going to get that are just beautiful, guys. <laughs> All right, Matt, we'll take it. While we can. Thank you very much. We